article, uh, the authors did a wonderful job of uh, going into detail about um, uh, some of the kinds of studies that uh, are relevant when we're thinking about using positive psychology uh, during this pandemic and other difficult times. And what's the, the take home message here is that uh, these are positive psychology skills that can be intentionally built. We can practice them, we can learn them, uh, we can use computer based programs and other programs. Uh, uh, bibliotherapy, books that tell us how to practice these, and uh, through often uh, frequent practice and cognitive training, uh, and that's just through everyday living and everyday life, uh, as we keep them top of mind and we face small or large uh, difficulties and traumas in every day, we'll get better and better at using these uh, positive psychology skills in our lives for our mental health as well as our physical health because of the physiologic impacts and even really uh, overall public health and so that's a new uh, realm to be thinking about uh, for positive psychology as well uh, from a health practitioner perspective if we can look to it, weave these into our interactions with patients, weave these into treatments that we recommend for our patients. If we can um, turn them on to this topic and point them to resources where they can learn about them, get inspired and do their own cognitive training, uh, we will have done ourselves a huge favor because uh, they will come back uh, with a greater adherence to our overall treatment plans. Uh, they'll come back uh, more satisfied with their lives if, the, if they're in implementing this in daily lives and uh, hopefully come back also physically and mentally healthier. So thank you for uh, listening to this uh, synthesis of this article. And I would like to end by reading to you the last paragraph uh, in the article that sums this up very well on the part of the authors here. According to Buheji et al. in 2020, managing COVID-19 is more than hand washing and social distancing. Instead, it is a story between hope and despair. Our wish is that this paper helps people to constructively navigate their way out of despair and bring hope to themselves and others. Thank you again for listening. And uh, this is a synthesis uh, that is being offered by the Global Positive Health Institute. Please check us out at positivehealth.world. Uh, we hope to offer uh, more videos, tools, and resources for you to use for yourselves and your patients. Thank you again for listening.